What's up all Power Ass Crew? Today's video, we are continuing on with dismantling the dash of Rust Bucket. As I dismantle this dash, I'm shooting the video to show you guys how in case you just need to, you know, work on your dash, I guess. So if you like these type of videos, a DIY that shows you how to do the job yourself, to give you that confidence in yourself, that saves you money, subscribe to this channel as I do all kinds of cool stuff. I feel like I need to point something out to you guys just so you know. If, you're, if you do a Google search and this video pops up and you need to do a 1991 YJ or down, they're different from this video here because it's a 1993. But if you go ahead and watch the video, it could give you enough um, knowledge and confidence to go ahead and tackle your rig there. Because the rust bucket here is a 1993. That one is a 91. So sometime or another, I'll tear the dash apart in the 91 to show you guys how it all comes apart and all that kind of fun stuff. But I gotta go to work here in a minute, so it's not gonna be right now. But got that one out. Once he has done, come on, watch the video. So here's what you need to do to get this trim bezel out of the way. You got two screws, one right there, one right there, one right there, one right there is missing. One right there that is not missing, right there. And then we got one up here that's missing. So get all those screws out. Okay, taking out the speedometer and well, this is actually the tack. Tack the speedometer over there to take this whole cluster system. Blah, blah, blah. Now taking this whole cluster system out, meaning for your tachometer and your speedometer and your little information center right here, you gotta take out a few screws. Yeah. Right there, but if you notice this is sitting on top of that, so you gotta come down here, take that screw out, and that screw out as well. Then once you get that one, that one, that one, that one out, you come over here, you got one right there, and one right there. So get them out. Once you get those screws out, look at that. It just moves around just nice and flimsy there, like. But now we got one more thing right back up inside here we got to address. That's the wiring harness that runs all this fun stuff. Come down underneath here, right there. And that also runs everything all the way across, okay? You can see no wiring harness on this end, but you do on this end. So what you got to do is, you got a little tab right here. Pull that tab back, pull the plug straight down, and it'll unplug the cluster. So yeah, I kind of need both hands to do that. And, tripod won't fit down here with me so therefore i'll see you guys in a moment and ta-da there's your plug okay now that we've got this thing out we can show it off a little bit right here is where the plug was for the wiring harness underneath the dash little tab thingy right here you got that's what you're pushing down to unlock the tab to allow your wiring harness to come unplugged you see much like the center center cluster where your uh, gas gauge oil temperature and all that stuff it's got the same little ribbon style ribbon trace or whatever crap you want to call it that moves all the electricity around to where it needs to go ground ignition and speed i'm assuming that's for your attack signal and there's your light another light another light another light so if you want to change them out to leds that's where you would do those at so later on we'll get into a video to where we take a little uh, multimeter and we'll trace out all the circuits just in case you got something that's not working correctly tax not working speedometer's not working because you got electrical signals that causes all this stuff to happen, okay? So in order to diagnose a lot of things, sometimes it's in your wiring harness, sometimes it's a ground, so on, so on. But if it's in this cluster here, I'm going to show you guys how you use, take a multimeter, go from point to point, testing the circuits to see what's good and what may be bad, okay? But that's going to come up on another video set. So that, that right there should give you guys a reason to subscribe if you haven't. I'm getting rain down. So everyone, if you enjoyed this video, hit me with a thumbs up, subscribe if you have it, leave me some cool comments down below, and I really appreciate you hanging out with me. Peace. Later, y'all. Okay, it's raining. I gotta go to work. Peace.